Shout out to Elm on Patreon for 13 months of support. Get weekly goods, tutorial files, mockups, templates, items from my store, and more, as well as supporting the free tutorials on this channel. Check out my Patreon in the description below. What's up guys, Quezzy or Noah here, bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create basketball jerseys in Photoshop. Now there's one thing that you'll need for this, and it is a basketball jersey mockup. And there's plenty of mock-up templates on the internet and you can find a bunch in a different bunch of different places. I actually have my own website for mock-up templates for sports. And my basketball one is $10 on templatefc.com. It comes with two different front views and each one has a different collar style and then one back view. And you get these three Photoshop files for $10. You can also find something like this on yellow images, which you might have seen me use in the past for tutorials like this. And the thing is, those are so pricey, um, it's like $15 per view. But if you prefer the yellow images, views, or whatever in style, you can also use those. Um, and the process of creating the jerseys will be the same. So I have one of my Template FC mockups open here. There's the back here as well. Um, but I think I'm just going to use the front since it works the same way. And basically how these mockups work is there's the lighting section, which is all the shading and stuff. And then you have the design section, uh, which are like the smart objects, which you can add your own designs to. And then the colors section, which obviously are the colors. So let me close this library real fast. And what I like to do is open up the body design first. So in this case, it's the top design. So let's double click the smart layer and it will open up a new layer for us to add our own design. I'm gonna go ahead and create a Miami Heat jersey using inspiration from Roma's soccer kit, the Italian team. So I just drug the Heat logo um, into the document here. And I'm gonna press Command H and that'll bring up this blue guide. And I'm gonna press Command T and make sure this is aligned in the center. And once we get that pink line, we're good. And I'm gonna line it up with the text already there, cool. And we can go ahead and delete that text. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the grid in the background. And I'm gonna actually get these colors. So I want the heat red. So let's get that. And we don't need the black because we know what black is, it's that. Um, and now we have our colors here. I'm gonna hide the number for now. And then this is the Nike swoosh, um, this layer. And we can go ahead and save that real quick. And when you save this layer, it will update layer over here as you can see now one thing I want is the text to be white instead of red because I'm gonna make the jersey red so I'm gonna go back over to the top design I'm gonna get the magic wand tool and go to that text layer and just click all the red parts while holding shift and depending on the logo you might not be able to use the magic wand but in this case I think I should be able to and just and be fine um, and if I press command U and then go all the way to white click OK and command D you can see that makes that white, but if I zoom in, you can see there might be some edge red depending on the logo. So I'm going to hit Command Z real fast, Command Z again, and go to Select, Modify, Expand, one pixel. Okay, then do that. Then press Command D to deselect, and that should be good. There's no like ugly red kind of on the edges there. So there we go, and we still have that red color over here. So now we can come back to the main document and go to colors and set up how we want our colors to be. So I don't know what I want for all the trim and stuff yet, but I do know for the main stuff, I want it to all be red. And we can assume that the trim might be black. So let's go ahead and go through. All the trim here is already black, which is good, but let's get the back color, get the red. And I like to select that red and then press Command C click OK and then just go down and paste it like so and let's get the socks and we'll do the shoes and we can leave the rest how it is because it's all black and white which are colors we can use anyway um, also I'm not sure if this is the right Miami Heat red it looks a little too purpley um, so I might come in here and adjust it like that Copy that red and paste that. Yeah, that looks a little better. Uh, 
And then any adjustments to that color, I wanna go ahead and make sure it's the same over here for when we use it in the future. And nice. Now let's go back to the top design and let's figure out what we wanna do here. So first of all, I'm gonna set up the number and we'll, so we'll bring this back, make it visible. I'm gonna double click and make the number three. We'll do a Dwayne Wade jersey, I suppose. And let's double click that and let's get a font. So the Heat uses just like a normal boxy font and I have all these NFL fonts that kind of do the same job. And I think there's just close to this Colts um, font, although all their numbers are slightly slanted, but I'm not gonna bother. So we'll just do this Colts font and let's double click on that because we have some layer styles already on this. And I'm gonna go for a stroke of black and then I'm gonna turn off the drop shadow and I will be happy with that, but you can mess around with the, this as much as you want. Uh, we can make the stroke the same color as our jersey. So if we did that red, and then when you save that, you get a kind of cool effect where the stroke blends in and you just get the drop shadow. Um, but like I said, I want that to just be black and no shadow. Like so, and then I'm gonna press Command T and just increase the size of this guy. And I need to offset him slightly to the right because he won't be, because when you hit press Command T, there's a space to the right. So if you line it up center, this is actually um, offset to the left slightly. So we have to adjust something like there. And that's pretty good. We could make some adjustments, but I think we're good to go. Um, so now let's go ahead and add our design. Uh, I'm gonna create a new layer and bring this to the bottom. But if you struggle with the design part of this whole thing, I do put out yearly pattern packs with jersey designs. So I'm working on the one for this year and you can see it's mainly soccer designs. So I have like Inter Milan, Portugal, and it's in a work in progress, but I like to recreate a lot of the designs and put them in packs. And so this will be the template FC pattern pack for 2020, 2021. And you can just add designs in it. And you can see I have this Roma one here, and this is actually the design I want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and bring it in here. Of course you can create your own design, which is what I expect most people to do with whatever ideas you have. And that's typically what I do, but I do like to use these as references or as subtle details. I can make things a lot easier sometimes. Um, so let's get this. I'm going to increase it so it goes all the way to the shoulders there. Press enter. Bring this down. And then I'm going to actually right click rasterize. And then this one here, I want to be our red. So I'm actually going to flip these colors with this selected in the magic wand and I'm going to press command delete and that will fill that but I want to press command Z real quick so I can go to command U and make it slightly darker click OK command D to deselect there we go let's press command S to save it hop back over and there we go there's our design and I think that's a pretty fitting design for the heat it's kind of interesting um, and we could take these colors and add them to the trim, which I think is what I'm gonna try to do here. So let's go ahead and open up some of these trim layers. I'm gonna start with the collar. So let's do collar right, collar left, collar back. And collar right and left are the exact same. So you can just put whatever on each of them and it'll just make the adjustments accordingly. You don't have to flip them over um, it's already flipped for you. So if we get this design, bring it over. So I want these colors, I'm gonna hold shift and extend this like so. Cool. And um, so once we have this, if I save it, you'll see it will adjust the right one here. Cool. And then we just want to drag that same one over. Put it on top of everything. We could delete all those rectangles as well. 
place it there, save it. Boom, there we go, and it lines up. No work on our part there, and then let's add it to the back one. Save it, head back, and there you go. It's all lined up. There's our collar. Let's just make sure we change our collar color to one of those colors, and there we go. And that blends in real nice. We could also add that to the sleeve trim here, but I wanna show you if you don't wanna add this trim, um, you can either open up the trim design and delete everything, or simply come here and hide it. And then you can come down and there's either the thick option or the thin option. Um, so maybe you want just like a slight trim like that, maybe white um, or no trim and it just goes in with the background, completely up to you. Maybe thick trim and you choose one of these colors as well. Um, completely up to you, but you can mess around with it. Also on these layers, if we went with um, let's say we do one of these oranges or something. Um, and that's not the exact color. Don't use the eyedropper on that. It really won't turn out well, but I was just doing it to get a color real quick. Um, but you can double click on these layers and add like gradients and things. So if we go and grab like black to white and make this 90, you can see we have um, it darker on the bottom and lighter at the top. And then we adjust the opacity and we get something like that, which can be pretty cool. Um, so feel free to add that to any of these other layers and let's hide that for now. I'm pretty happy with this Now I want to move on to the band. So that's obviously the shorts band um, So let's double click to open that up and we're gonna have to start Closing some of these other layers I actually just want to close all of them but one because I want to go ahead and get this color pattern again Increase the size like there okay we uh, set that up save it come back boom there's the band now we got the band set up we can go to the rest of the shorts so let's open up the right and the left if it wants to go there we go and I'm gonna close the band let's hide the checkered let's hide the checkerboard behind so we can get an idea there that's how it's looking and you'll notice for the top we had to open up separate layers for the trim but in the shorts layer the trim is there for us at the bottom and i have this set up here so you know the size so this is like the ideal size and we could hide um, these so maybe we don't want these but we want solid colors so let's make it black and then we also have the side pan stripe rectangle set up so let's make these black and see what happens. There we go. And I think this might look cool if we add the thick trim, turn off the gradient and make it black. So it fits in and yeah, there you go. So on the shorts, you just simply have to add those rectangles to the bottom and it will add that. And then the sides, it will add that automatically. So you're doing all your designing on these layers, you're saving them and you're coming over and it's automatically applying it to the jersey. And this works the same way with the yellow images mockups. Um, and that's basically how you go about creating these. You also can come down here afterwards and check whether you want the shadow or not and change the background color to something more fitting. Um, maybe you get some of that red, make it a little darker. Um, completely up to you guys. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more tutorials. Check out my Twitter, at Quezzy. Check out my Instagram, That's Quezzy, where I post a lot of concept jerseys. Check out my store for all my design goods and my Patreon for all the goods and exclusives from these tutorials and my everyday work. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.